Look, we are already on week 2 of April and we still have heard nothing about a Nintendo Switch 2, or really anything for Nintendo's schedule this year outside of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door and Luigi's Mansion 2. So I thought to myself, why not just start talking about the next console and what games we can actually expect before it gets announced? And one thing I thought about was, well, every year we talk about what Mario games could be coming to the current Switch, well let's talk about what Mario games we could get in the totality of the Switch 2. Yes, I'm talking from the beginning to the end of Switch 2 what are all the Mario games that we could get, big and small, mainline and spin-off, so that's exactly what we're going to do here today. Of course, a lot of these games are just going to be games that people are going to naturally expect for Mario for a new console, so I'm going to try to explain each of them in depth and try to predict what they're going to be like. Of course, I'm not going to be like, oh, Mario Maker 3, and not really tell you what it's going to be about. So yeah, I'm going to try to make this as interesting as I can, but thank you so much for tuning in. I know a lot of you guys, and I mean a lot of you guys subscribed yesterday. Over 100 brand new subscribers in one day, it's kind of insane. So thank you so much. We are trying to reach our goal of 300,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can do even more today. You guys are so close to reaching us there. We are super duper close, but stop what you're doing, leave a like and subscribe. It goes a long way. But thank you for tuning in and let's jump into our entire list of every single Mario game we could get on the Switch 2. Let's start things off with the elephant in the room. Not that elephant, but the fact that yes, we know we're getting a big 3D Mario soon. And how many times have I talked about this thing? You know, enough to literally write a book about it. Yeah, there's going to be a big 3D Mario game, and right now it's looking like it's going to be a launch title for Switch 2, and I still think that sounds pretty daggone right. I've already went into so many details about this, but I'll do it again for the sake of this video really quick. I think it's going to be open world. I think it's going to be a giant map with tons of cool biomes that you can seamlessly explore. You can explore the Mushroom Kingdom, maybe even Peach's Kingdom castle like in Mario 64 but even to a greater extent. I think there's just going to be so much to do in this giant world with tons of platforming challenges and overworld bosses. It's going to be the Mario take on Breath of the Wild and it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. I think Bowser's Fury definitely got us prepared for this thing uh, by giving us a small open world to explore with and I think this one is just going to be the one where they finally open up and give us a giant one. There's not much else I can say about this. This is kind of expected from a lot of people. It's been seven years since 3D Mario from Mario Odyssey, so it's about time we see this thing soon. I'm calling launch title, I'm saying open world Mario. Next up, I think there's gonna be another 3D Mario. And I know you're like, what? Hear me out for a second. So Breath of the Wild was a launch title for Switch, and we still got Tears of the Kingdom, thankfully around six years later. So I think there's a good chance that with this 3D Mario game being a launch title, there could be a sequel to it six or seven years later towards the end of the Switch 2's life cycle. That would be really cool, but I don't think it's going to be a sequel. I don't think it's going to be another open world. I think it's going to be more of a confined 3D Mario game, something along the lines of Mario 3D World or Super Mario Galaxy, something a lot smaller, more linear, and maybe more multiplayer focused. That way we have this new crazy open world Mario game, but they're still working on something more akin to Mario games that we're used to. That would be pretty cool. Next up, I think we're getting a new Mario Kart. Wait, that was just, I know we're getting a new Mario Kart. It's just obvious. You know, there's been rumors going around saying that this could be Mario Kart X or Mario Kart Crossroads. I do think it's going to be a Mario Kart at heart. I know a lot of people worry that it could be, you know, transforming into a Nintendo Kart. I don't think that's the case, but I do think we're going to see a lot of other Nintendo characters here. I think Captain Falcon should finally be a racer after having two tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, we should have Kirby in there, maybe some more Zelda characters, and just keep it some small extra Nintendo guests, but tons of other first-party Mario Nintendo characters as well would be really cool to see. But I don't know what the big twist with this one is going to be. Um, that's completely up to Nintendo, and I have no clue what they could do. I just really hope that there's other content to do in this game, like a story mode for you know a single player um, and other game modes like maybe the mission mode returning from the DS with boss battles as well would be really cool but just other things to do besides just do some cups and play online would be great but I think this Mario Kart is going to be massive and I can see it being the big holiday game of year one yeah I'm going big or going home. I'm saying a big open world 3D Mario game to launch with the console early next year, and then a big Mario Kart for the holiday title late next year, making it an awesome first year for Switch too. 
I think we're going to have two to three brand new Mario Party games. I think maybe Nintendo going back with their recent Mario Party showing what it was like to have good boards and good mini games was a good thing. Now Nintendo can make Mario Parties the way they're supposed to be made and hopefully we get like two to three brand new ones. It's been a little bit since we've gotten the last one so I think it's time and I think we could see that year one and then some more year three or year five and I think this is a very good possibility. I mean back in the day we used to get Mario Parties all the time. We had four on the GameCube, so it's not too far out to suggest that we could get two or three on the brand new Switch if Nintendo finally found out how they want to do this. Mario Party sell like crazy, so I'm still surprised we didn't get more than just two on the Nintendo Switch, but expect one very soon. As far as what it's going to be, I think it's going to have really good basic boards that we're used to. I don't think Nintendo wants to stray too far away from that, and just fun mini games. I don't think they need to come up with some crazy gimmick. I mean, after just having one that was kind of like the Super Mario Party mix of all things that we've already had, it's time for a completely brand new one with new mini games and new boards and new characters. That's literally all they need. Next up, let's dive into some of the sports games. So for the Switch, we got Tennis, Strikers, and obviously Mario Golf. So what could we get on Switch 2? Now, we know Nintendo does not care what games were on the previous console. They literally had tennis on like every console ever. And golf is up there too. So there's a chance we could get golf and tennis again. I'll get into that in a second. But Mario Baseball first. I think Mario Baseball is a given for one of the first sports we'll see on Switch 2. It just makes too much sense and a lot of people love Mario Baseball. And with it being one of my favorite Mario sports titles, I really am hoping that they just don't do this for Switch still because I want to move away from the current era of Mario sports titles as they're not as good as they used to be and it doesn't seem like that much effort's put into them and they come out unfinished and then they release all these free updates that they call updates when they're just more of the actual game. Uh, but yes, hopefully we get a big Mario Super Slugger style of Mario baseball game with tons of original characters again. And I, th I think that's why like I love this game so much is that Super Sluggers just had such a giant roster of characters. And that's what I'm hoping to see. Again, I want to see characters throughout the entire series, brand new characters that we've just recently gotten, old ones like Cappy, Pauline, give me them all. I want an awesome Mario baseball title. Another one that of course I would love to see is Mario basketball. Mario Mario Hoops 3 on 3 was great on the DS, and so was Mario Basketball with Mario Sports Mix. So I'm really hoping to see a fully fledged, flushed out home console Mario Basketball game for the first time. I would love to see a whole unique roster of, you know, Mario characters playing basketball on unique courts and stuff, and to like maybe a My Player situation where you choose a Nintendo character and upgrade them through like a story mode campaign or something would be great. Next up, we have just pretty much new and returning sports. Maybe Nintendo just says, let's do something we haven't done before like a Mario football for crying out loud would be awesome. And of course, I'm talking American football. I think that would just be great. But for some reason, Nintendo's just so against it. And I don't know why. It's like one of the biggest sports out there. I, I don't know why Nintendo... Yeah, they're strange sometimes. But yeah, we also have Mario Volleyball, which was apparently a prototype and a thing that was going to be very similar to that of Mario Strikers. Um, so yeah, I think it was called Mario Sp bikers which could be very cool as well um but we could get you know just reuse sports again we could see another mario golf and that means yes probably another mario tennis as well but i hope they don't do that i hope they just you know maybe enhance the current mario golf and mario tennis that are on the switch i think there's good enough they could definitely make better ones but yeah right now i'd want them to focus with new sports that they haven't touched yet as much as i'm excited for paper mario the thousand year door and trust me you guys know how excited i am for that game I am more excited for the future of what Paper Mario could be now. Nintendo had done the impossible by going back to its roots and giving us Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, the turn-based strategy RPG adventure that we have loved so much, and it really is just amazing. It makes me think that maybe Nintendo is going to make future Paper Mario games very similar to what they did with the Thousand Year Door, and hopefully it sells so well that they have no choice but to move forward with a true the Thousand Year Door sequel because we moved on to Super Paper Mario, which arguably wasn't even an RPG, and then the trilogy of random ones, but yeah, we've got Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door coming next month, which is giving me hope that we could see a new game in that style, and that's what my prediction is, that 
halfway through the life cycle of the new Switch, we will see a new Paper Mario game that's very similar looking to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door with original characters, original worlds, and a turn-based battle system with a great story. I'm hoping here's to the future. And Nintendo's not going to stop there with Mario RPGs. I think we could finally see the return of Mario and Luigi. I know Alpha Dream went bankrupt, I get it, but Nintendo did recently put out a poll talking about Mario and Luigi games in detail with tons of their other RPG games when it came to having a poll about what fans like the most. So I am not saying that Mario and Luigi is just completely dead right now. I'm actually saying there's a good chance we could see it, and I think Switch 2 could be the place we do see it. As far as what it's going to be, we know Mario and Luigi Paper Jam kind of went the Paper Mario sticker star route and kind of dumbed it down to basic mainline Mario characters and enemies and, you know, actually threw in Paper Mario from sticker star. So hopefully this next Mario and Luigi game does not do that and it goes back to its traditional roots of being unique with unique characters characters and story and enemies and worlds to explore that would be awesome and just seeing a Mario and Luigi game on home console would be nuts I'm just thinking about it I remember being so excited just playing Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga on a big TV from virtual console so I just don't even know how I would react to a full-fledged HD unique looking art style for a Mario and Luigi game on home console please make it happen Nintendo obviously I also don't think Nintendo's gonna stop there with them sending out that recent poll I think it's safe to say that Nintendo's gearing up for even more Mario RPG goodness so what if they just gave us a straight up brand new Mario RPG that would be great I know technically Paper Mario is like the sequel to Mario RPG but what if we actually went back to that kind of art style and vibe and had a brand new turn-based RPG the way we do with Mario RPG? That would be pretty awesome, and I can see a lot of people loving this. Just completely wacky brand new worlds and new characters and enemies and a story would be great to see for a Mario spinoff like this. Or maybe they just do some more things like, you know, team up with the rabbits again. I don't really know if that would continue anymore. Uh, I think they pretty much did everything that they wanted to do with Mario Rabbids unless they just want to keep going for for some reason but I feel like we're good there you know it's one of those series where I'm like okay I've had a blast with those two games I'm done you know what I mean I'm ready to just go back to the other Mario RPGs so hopefully we see a new style of RPG or maybe it's something new entirely that we're not even thinking of or a new Mario RPG experience that Nintendo will create it's hard to say but I'm looking forward to seeing what else the RPG games have in store for us we just got Super Mario Brothers Wonder finally breaking the new Super Mario Brothers curse and we know that the developers have been working on this game since the beginning of Switch which is crazy and they really had no time limit which allowed them to release it towards the end of the Switch's life cycle last year. So my question is could we see another 2D Mario game? Well of course there's no way we're going to go through seven years of a brand new console and still not see another 2D Mario game. Do I think it's going to be a sequel to Super Mario Brothers Wonder? Absolutely not. I do think it could have a similar art style, maybe even the same art style, but I think it's going to be an entirely different game. I think Nintendo has this new mindset where they finally do not have to do new Super Mario Brothers. They can change up the style of it every single time, and I hope we get that. Every 2D Mario game just being completely different from the last would be great. We don't need like a new series of a way a 2D Mario game should look, but hopefully this next one has another cool gimmick just like Wonder did, but I would also love it if they just really focused on the boss battles this time around, because that was like one of my only complaints from Super Mario Brothers Wonder, so please Nintendo, give us some fun boss battles to fight. There is little doubt in my mind that Nintendo will not go with a Mario Maker 3. I mean seriously, they just shut down the servers for Mario Maker 1, so really they only have one Mario Maker up right now. Because there were two Mario Maker 1s, there was a 3DS version and a Wii U version, uh, but now you just have the Switch version of Mario Maker 2. So I think they could go with a 3, and there's options that they could do, there's tons of other 2D game styles, and we've talked about how they could make their own through some of the 3D games too, and we've talked about this over and over again. So they definitely would not run out of game styles, but the question is, do they want to go with another just 2D Mario Maker. I mean, they definitely can. There's tons of enemies and maybe even bosses and objects and stuff that they could add, but I would like to see them do something completely different. And since we could be getting an open world 3D Mario game, maybe this is our opportunity to get a 3D Mario Maker or Mario Maker 3D, where we can make our own linear 3D Mario levels, which would be so cool. I know it's probably a huge undertaking to make something like this possible, and trust me, I get it. It probably is not even possible possible right now, but still I would love to be able to just slap a star somewhere in a stage and place a whole bunch of 
floating blocks and make my own little obstacle course in order to get players to reach it would be awesome. And you could have different game styles based on the different 3D Mario games, which would give Mario different movesets, would be great. I just don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. I think eventually there is a time for this, but I think the next Mario Maker is definitely just going to be another 2D Mario Maker where, you know, you have a couple more game styles and tons of more objects and items and stuff added to the game. I still think that's going to be great. Next up, I want to talk about some remakes or remasters that could happen. So what if Nintendo went back and remade Mario 64 again? Yes, I know it was remade for the DS, adding new playable characters and adding new boss battles and even a couple new worlds, but what if they remade it again, adding maybe even a little bit more, more secrets around the castle, uh, maybe those playable characters are still in again, and maybe just, you know, remaking the Mario 64 DS remake again, you know, yeah, it'd be a lot, but I would love to see Mario 64 in HD on home console just kind of reimagined would be great. Next up is a 3D Mario game that we still have not seen in recent years, which is Super Mario Galaxy 2. Obviously, it missed out on the 3D Mario collection pack, so I'm hoping that there's some type of future where we could see Mario Galaxy 2 again. Um, I don't think it will be in any type of extra pack with one since it's already been released. I think Mario Galaxy 2 could just happen again, and maybe it's like a full-fledged remake where they actually add things to it as well that would be really cool and that would actually make me happy um just like maybe adding some extra levels worlds some extra stars and maybe this is a chance for them to add anything else that they maybe had in you know the development phase i know mario galaxy 2 was built on all types of development ideas from mario galaxy 1 so there's probably no more ideas left but there's got to be a couple right that's what i'm hoping for i just want to see mario galaxy 2 even if it's the same exact game and they just throw it on the eShop or something Please bring Mario Galaxy 2 back. I know I'm going to receive the comment again, Nintendo Land, why are you still talking about Mario Pinball Land? It's not going to happen. Listen, it's just such a random weird game back then. It's one of those things where I'm like, watch Nintendo end up remaking it or a remaster or maybe even they just a brand new Mario Pinball game because it wasn't bad by any means. It's actually kind of cool and I would love to see a new take on this. If Nintendo can completely remake and add content to Mario vs. Donkey Kong on the GBA, what's stopping them from doing the same thing with Mario Pinball Land? One of the more obscure Mario games and this still like I said it was a lot of fun I think people would enjoy it it's a fun simple pinball game with Mario and Mario enemies characters and worlds make it happen Nintendo the only other remakes I can see happening is maybe some of the classic Super Mario Brothers games uh, and I would say Mario Land and Mario Land 2 getting some type of collection remake pack would be great just kind of flushing these games out or maybe a reimagining would be great just kind of reimagining what these games would look like in today's standard would be awesome this would allow us to revisit at Sarasa Land again and just, you know, the different wacky worlds and levels that Mario Land 2 had for sure. Maybe even Tatanga could make a return. There's a lot of things that they could do with this. And I would just love that different feel because it was a different 2D Mario game for sure. But like I said, I probably wouldn't even have a problem if they just, you know, did any of the old Mario games like Mario Brothers 3, 2, or even Super Mario World. I think it'd be really cool to see some of the classic games in a new light. Now let's move on to some of the completely different Mario spinoffs, including different characters such as Yoshi. I think we could see two new Yoshi games on this new console. I think it could kind of be the way that Kirby was on the Switch, where you get a 2D game uh, that's maybe a new Yoshi's Island would be cool, and then a 3D game. The first 3D Yoshi game would be awesome, and I also hope that game could beat Yoshi's Island. I would love to see a full-fledged 3D Yoshi's Island that's very similar to the 2D games, but obviously in a new 3D environment. Or maybe a 3D environment inspired by Wooly World or Crafted World, where everything's arts and crafts and Yoshi's just kind of going through a bedroom or something like Chibi Robo style, going through a house or something. I don't know. But I would love to see a 3D Yoshi game. I think the first time we could see it would definitely be on the Switch 2. Yoshi in some capacity, we're going to get more Yoshi. We already gotten a couple rumors that Luigi's Mansion 4 is in production for Switch 2 and that it's going to be massive and look absolutely visually stunning, which just makes sense because Luigi's Mansion 3 is one of the best looking Nintendo games ever. Of course, we're getting Luigi's Mansion 2 this year, which looks like a pretty good remaster, or it depends on where you see this, some see it as a remake, but yeah, Luigi's Mansion 2 making a return, but at the same time, I am also expecting Luigi's Mansion 4 to be very, very close as well. Within the next couple of years, I think Luigi's Mansion 4 is going to release, and I think it's going to be massive. I would like to see them just kind of have a big, more open experience, kind of like the first game. Maybe one giant mansion again, or maybe multiple mansions like Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, but you can actually get to like walk around and explore each mansion or whatever mansion you want to visit at your own leisure, and you can walk outside and stuff. Just more freedom would be awesome. But they could also take the series just in completely other directions as well. They could have a haunted cruise ship, haunted train, a haunted, you know, 
museum again, kind of like one of the floors in Luigi's Mansion 3. They could just keep going on and on and on. Uh, Haunted Castle, like the Castlevania trailer for Smash Brothers. They could do a lot with Luigi's Mansion, and then the series is just getting started. It's going to be great. Hey, Captain Toad is a game. Remember that? Yeah, I think they definitely need to make a new Captain Toad with its own unique worlds. Maybe not tying in a 3D world or Odyssey this time. It's like doing its own thing with its own new art style or something. That would be really cool. With its own unique levels, maybe its own unique enemies again, and just unique boss battles and stuff to do with, you know, power-ups and items that Toad can use to make him more dynamic instead of just walking around. It's a puzzler still, like obviously it's a 3D platformer puzzler, uh, but it's also maybe a more of an adventure game this time as well, making you find things and use items and stuff. Ooh, that would be so good. Captain Toad just started with only one game and a port, so it's time to see it again. And the last one on this list probably doesn't count for Mario, but I guess Smash Brothers is kind of a Mario spinoff, since Mario's like the main character, he's the head of the case every time you buy the game. Yeah, Smash Bros. Um, yeah, look, okay, I know a lot of people are not going to consider this a Mario game in any capacity, but yeah, there's going to be another Smash Brothers, and I think it is going to finally be that reboot we've been looking for. I made a whole video on it uh, where I came up with a game called Super Smash Brothers Legends, which I pretty much rebooted the entire franchise and made a new Smash Brothers games with what we've had already. Um, you know, obviously adding new characters, taking out a whole bunch of characters and stuff. You can check that out if you want. Uh, but yeah, just a new Smash Brothers is probably going to happen for sure eventually on the new console. Goodness gracious, that's a whole lot of Mario. But of course, we can't really continue to speculate anything else until Nintendo finally decides to announce this new console and to show us whatever the first big Mario game is going to be. Hopefully that big 3D open world Mario game. But before we get there, we technically still have two more Mario games this year with Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door and Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, which is super exciting. But let me know in the comments down below, what Mario game would you be the most excited for for this new console? Let me know what you're hoping for with that Mario game, give me all the juicy details and everything in between. Be very specific. I want to read exactly what it is that you want within the next Mario game. But thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out. We're almost at 300,000 subscribers, so if you enjoyed, let me know by subscribing. And I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.